welcome to Overcome by Your Testimony. If you're joining for the first time, welcome. Thanks for joining. Today my topic will be do it even when you don't feel like it. <laughs> do it even when you don't feel like it. And honestly, <sighs> that topic came about because I've been feeling a little discouraged lately and um, I know a lot of people have been messaging me and telling me to keep going keep going but honestly yeah I've been feeling a little bit discouraged and um, maybe because I'm tired because the baby wasn't well but um, I just decided to bring a short word and I hope I can encourage someone and that in the end I will be encouraged as well so I know sometimes we feel like you know we are not having an impact on anyone we feel like we're not getting the support that we anticipated especially from the people that we expected to get it from and some days you're just not having a good day and you can't even identify why you're not having a good day you know what I mean but I'm just here to tell you to do it even when you don't feel like it do it even when you feel discouraged do it even when you feel like you're being laughed at do it even when you feel like you're not good enough um, do it even when you feel like you're not qualified. Do it anyway, especially if it brings glory to God and it's helping at least one person. I've said it. I said I want to continue doing this even if I impact or have any positive effect on at least one person. But sometimes you can say stuff and still be struggling. So I'm being very vulnerable today and I'm just saying uh, I'm struggling a bit, but um, I, it's something I'm passionate about. It's something I enjoy doing, and I'm happy that I'm touching lives and I'm reaching people, and you're being encouraged. I'm really happy about that, and I'm just asking for you to pray. Help me pray. Help pray for my strength, pray for my mind, and pray that um, I'll just continue and rely on God. Because sometimes when we rely on ourselves, it's um, next to impossible. We can't do things on our own. And I think that's the problem. When you try to rely on you, then you find everything that's wrong with you. But when you rely on God, because he's perfect, then whatever his will is for you is perfect as well. And we just need to remember that. So I'm just going to tell you again, just do it when you don't feel like it. Do it when you don't look the part. Do it when you're feeling depressed, down, stressed, annoyed, unappreciated, overwhelmed or underwhelmed. Do it anyway. If it brings glory to God, do it. If it makes somebody else happy, do it. If it makes you happy, do it. Just do it. If you're passionate about it, do it. Um, there's a scripture that says, that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And sometimes we let fear take over. Fear of looking stupid, fear of not being good enough, fear of not being supported, fear of not being impactful. Just fear. Sometimes we don't even know what we fear. We just allow that spirit to take us over and as i said yes it's a spirit and we can't let that spirit dominate us right because we belong to the holy spirit so if we belong to the holy spirit we ought to operate through and in the holy spirit and if the spirit dwells in you then there's no room for fear and i'm encouraging myself as well and as i speak i'm getting over <laughs> I'm getting over as I speak. But let us just operate from a spirit of power, a place of love, and a place of a sound mind. Because it is with our mind that we serve God. 
So we have to remember that we serve God with our mind and we cannot, we cannot operate in fear. And I'm just hoping that someone who is feeling down right now, someone who is feeling discouraged, if it's a project that you've started, if it's a skill, a gift, whatever it is that you've started and you're somewhat feeling discouraged, you feel like giving up, you feel like you're not reaching people, you feel like you're just not good enough, you don't fit the bill, you don't look the part, whatever the struggle is right now, I'm just asking you to just keep going. I'm encouraging you, just keep going, keep going, keep going, don't give up. We've come too far to give up now. And if we go further, we might just be surprised and we just don't know what's around the corner. So we have to keep going, keep going and keep going. So we'll see. So the further you go, the more you'll see and the more you'll realize why you're doing what you're doing. Because sometimes we don't see or know why we're doing what we're doing. But the best is always yet to come. Especially if we rely on God and on his promises. So I just want to tell you thanks for supporting me. Thanks for your words of encouragement. Thanks for praying for me. Continue to pray for me and my family. And I will continue to pray for you and your family as well. And just help. Just let us all be strong and encourage each other and empower each other and be there for each other and we're all sisters and brothers in christ so we should be united we are a body so when one is weak the other should be strong and we need to help each other along the journey you take care and have a blessed day and we'll speak 